If a MedFly eradication program is conducted in your area, here are some activities you can expect to see. First of all, there may be a number of state and federal vehicles in the vicinity of the fruit fly finds. These agricultural officials may be involved in a variety of tasks. They will be placing fruit fly traps in trees to determine the limits of the infestation. They may need to spray a small amount of bait to attract and kill flies on the leaves and trees of bushes. Sterile flies will be released airily and on the ground. Personnel trying to determine how the wild flies arrived in the area may interview residents and business owners, and public information specialists may be in the area distributing information on the program. Anyone associated with the eradication program should have identification and be able to provide information upon request. Program specifics include increased trapping. Hundreds of traps are placed in areas around wildfly finds. These traps are checked every day for seven days. After seven days, if no more wildflies are found, traps will be checked once a week for approximately 63 days, or three life cycles of the fruit fly. If another wildfly is found, then traps will be checked again on a daily basis for seven days and the cycle will continue. Properties within one and a half miles of a find will likely be treated with a mild bait and insecticide. The leaves of trees and bushes within this area will be sprayed. Residents will receive 24 hours notice before spraying begins. A number of people are sensitive to chemicals and may be included on state records that prevent their properties from exposure to chemicals. Those properties will not be sprayed. In addition, we will attempt to make concessions to persons with special needs and requests related to spraying. It may be necessary to spray again to eradicate any wild flies that may remain. If fruit fly larvae are found, special treatment options are required to prevent spread of the medflies. Plants on properties within 656 feet of a larval find may be treated with a soil drench. Fruit flies complete their development stage in the soil. That is why it's necessary to spray the ground. It may be necessary to respray to ensure no medflies can emerge. Again, 24 hours notice will be given before spraying begins. Fruit removal is another activity that is required for properties in proximity to larval finds. It is necessary to remove the food that the medflies are feeding on. Though it is difficult to lose your fruit, taking these actions now will ensure healthy crops in the future. Another activity that will take place is the release of sterile medflies. This can be done both aerially and on the ground. Though millions of sterile flies will be released to knock back the population of any wild flies in the area, the public will probably be unaware of the presence of additional flies in the area. Medflies, wild or sterile, are not harmful to humans or animals. These are just a few of the activities that may be observed or experienced by residents and businesses that reside in a medfly eradication program area. It is important to note that if you live in an area that is regulated by the MedFly program, you cannot move fruits or vegetables from your property. If you have excess fruits or vegetables, pick them, double bag them, and dispose of them with your household garbage, not your yard trash. Anyone who wants more information or has questions about the program is encouraged to visit the state's MedFly website at www dot fl dash dpi dot com or call the toll free helpline at eight 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 three nine seven one five one seven the cooperation of the public is vitally important to the success of the medfly eradication program and is greatly appreciated by the agricultural officials responsible for protecting florida's native and commercially grown plants and by all Floridians and visitors to Florida who enjoy our vast supply of fruits, nuts, and vegetables. Protecting Florida's agricultural resources also ultimately protects our nation's food supply and our backyard gardens.